Welcome back to the Casos YouTube channel. Today I wanna to cover five different WordPress themes that I feel are some of the best themes for your WordPress podcast website. There are tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of themes available to us. These are simply the five that I've had experience with that I use now on some sites, uh, largely for three major reasons. And these three reasons encompass all of these themes. And this is why I've picked them. So this is the baseline reasoning uh no matter which one of these themes you pick for your site you're going to get this so number one speed the the themes that i'm mentioning today are all quick they load fast they're efficient and that's very important uh not only to like technical rankings for seo and search engines uh, but overall you know viewer and listener experience you want these sites to load fast you don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff really slowing down your website. And I trust all five of these themes uh, to be fast and efficient. Number two, they're all very flexible in their own regard, right? There's tons of themes out there, tons of themes that promise loads of functionality. Uh, and maybe 90% of the functionality you never even use. <laughs> but most of these themes here uh, are all very flexible in order to uh, display podcast pages differently, give you different layout options, uh, look and feel color and font wise. They are, they're all very largely very flexible and that's why they've made it to this list today. And number three, the one that gets sort of goes under the radar a lot with a lot of reviews that I see on any WordPress theme is the trust and support are very high for these themes. So I trust the the makers of these themes, uh, the companies behind them, the developers behind them. And they also have uh, very strong support models. And you can either pay for some of these themes to get direct support access, uh, you know, starting anywhere as $49 for the year, uh, maybe all the way up to a few hundred, depending on which theme you go with. But they all have a mechanism, a way to get support, uh, which is arguably very important when you're building out your podcast website, especially as you grow your podcast, especially if you start monetizing a podcast, you want to be able to get the direct support from your theme maker when you need it, okay? So like I mentioned, some of these are free, some of these have premium versions as well, so you can use the free versions and you can opt in to get the premium versions for more stuff. Um, so here are the themes right here, I'm just gonna name them off so you can even quit this video if you want, but it's here are the names. Astra theme, a very popular theme, I think it's got over a million active installs now. Um, a very popular theme for WordPress, for e-commerce, for everything, for blogging, and it's gonna be a great theme for your podcast. The second theme on this list is the Chaplin theme. This one doesn't have a premium version. Out of all the ones that I'm mentioning today, it doesn't have a premium version. It's largely free, but it's my favorite WordPress theme in the last few years, uh, specifically for free, but specifically for its design um, and layout options. Number three, Generate Press. Again, another very popular theme in the WordPress space. You can use it for free or you can get their premium versions. Uh, the base theme for Elementor. This is sort of a, a special one here because you're going to really need to use Elementor to harness the power of this theme. And I'll mention it when we get to it and, and the reasons why you should use this theme. But hello from Elementor. And then lastly, the Nev theme by Theme Isles. Again, free version works fantastically. Premium versions for extra designs, extra options. You really can't go wrong. Okay, let's take a look at the Astra theme. I already have it loaded, it's already active. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show the archive pages really briefly. I'm not gonna go into all of these design details for each theme, but this is the Astra theme. Clean, basic, um, and fast. And if we go into, this is our, our podcast archive page. So that's what I'm gonna look at. This is the default podcast view for Seriously Simple Podcasting, which is uh, what we offer here at Castos. And we're just gonna take a look at the archive pages, just real brief to give you an idea of some of the things that are available in these themes. So Astra theme, you know, you can do things like shut the sidebar off on blog posts, which would be custom post type. So if I shut that sidebar off, um, that'll load and shut the sidebar off on this side, uh, or that's, sorry, that's for the blog post. This is for the archives. We'll do no sidebar. And then we'll also do, uh, we'll just do no sidebar and default layout. There we go. And that'll show no sidebar, right? So that's the kind of thing that you can do uh, with the Astra theme, or you might be able to go in and change some of the base typography, uh, you know, like fonts, 
right? So you can quickly change the fonts. Astro theme is all about speed. It's all about efficiency. And it's a very popular theme. Okay, let's move on to our next theme. And this is the chaplain theme. So I'm going to live preview this. Uh, and this is a theme made by a WordPress theme author, Anders Noren. He doesn't have uh, a premium theme company. It's not this large company like an Astra or certainly an Elementor. Um, he is just a solo WordPress theme designer. He also helped, this, this theme actually helped build one of the default themes for WordPress. Um, and I love it because I love the typography. I love the spacing. And you have some fun elements that you can play with. Uh, so if we go into theme options post archive you can see here these are our, our podcast posts you have this in this two column width uh, this two column layout i can switch it to one column uh very easy i can switch it to three columns very easy that's just a very nice efficient theme right and we can do all kinds of things like show the excerpts which is really nice and it just gives you flexibility without a ton of other options. Um, and you can make these pages and posts look really good. So the Chaplin theme, again, one of my, my favorite themes for a podcast. Let's go back and change out to another one. Generate Press. Uh, they have a fantastic suite of tools, especially if you're using Gutenberg. They have uh, a premium version of their Gutenberg block builder. It's fantastic. So if you're really going head first into designing a site from scratch, I'd definitely look at Generate Press. Same thing with Astra. Uh, it's a great starting point for designing a unique theme or picking up one of their uh, pre-made templates. Uh, the Generate Press theme also has a fantastic podcast theme that I'll pull up right now. I've covered this on the channel before. It's called Stream. So if you do opt into getting their premium version, they have this theme right here, which you load into the base theme. It's called Stream, and it's specifically made for podcasters. In fact, I talked to the designer before he designed this site, and he asked me a bunch of questions on what he would want, uh, what I would want as a podcaster on a WordPress theme. And a lot of a lot of this stuff, I'm not taking trying to take design credit for it, but I certainly talked to him and talked about calls to action and displaying content. Um, and that's just one example uh, with plenty of other sites, uh, templates to choose from and generate press makes it super easy. So again, layouts, you can shut sidebars off. Well, that's the sidebar layout. So we can go into uh, no sidebars, you know, and, and just change the look and feel here. And if you get into their premium version, you can change all kinds of things of the layout and the grid, maybe bring down that container width, you know, so you can get really minimal, uh, you know, if you wanted to, what does happens? I don't even know what this is. Boxes that changes anything. No, pretty much, pretty much stays the same, but again, lots of control speed and efficiency with the generate press theme. And lastly, not, not lastly, we're going to go to change. I'm going to leave hello elementor to the end. We'll go live preview with the nev theme, the nev theme, same thing. You get all these same controls super fast. Uh, lightweight layout. So if we go layout, archive, I kind of like their archive builder, a, maybe a little bit better than some of the other ones. So you can go into, let me pull it back up, all episodes. So you have like this cover layout, you have this list layout where it puts the image on the left. And then you have this grid layout, which puts that sort of standard, uh, you know, featured image top. Um, eggs are bottom kind of thing. You can change the ordering of it. And this is all for free. This is all on the free version. Uh, so ultimately very powerful uh, for the free version for controlling the different layouts. But one of the things that they have, which I really like is their site templates, I feel are, are probably some of the best. Now I really like that stream site template for the generate press. That one's really nice. And their whole suite of designs really nice. But the Nev themes, they have a lot of very nice, very well-designed templates. So if there's something that just fits your certain sort of design eye for your podcast website, you want to check out the Nev, uh, the Nev theme by Theme Isles. It's definitely uh, a very, very nice and very well-designed theme. I'll have all of the links for these themes in the description below. And then lastly, the Hello Elementor theme. If you're new to all of this stuff, this is going to be the most basic theme. And you're going to say, why am I, <laughs> I don't even understand. There's no options on the side. I can't really do anything with it. That's because this is going to go hand in hand 
with the very popular Elementor page builder, now used over 7 million sites. If you're starting from scratch of designing a site and you're using a page builder like Elementor, literally you can't go wrong using this. This is their theme. This is their blank canvas for designing pages using Elementor. So maybe if you're not designing it, but you're hiring somebody to design it, maybe somebody on your team is going to be designing it and you're looking for an all encompassing solution. Uh, I think Elementor starts at $49 for one site and you get the page builder, you get all their templates and you can just build anything you want. Yes, there will be a learning curve. You'll have to learn WordPress and you'll have to learn Elementor, uh, but it is a very, very powerful tool for designing anything for your, your podcast website. So I left this one to the end because really you're ultimately only going to use this theme if you're bought into uh, using Elementor. Uh, fun fact, you can Astra theme that I recommended today, uh, the Generate Press theme and the Nev theme all have Elementor templates that will be compatible with their particular solutions as well. So that's the five themes. I'll go back into this so you can see it one more time. Again, all largely free. Chaplin is 100% free. There is no premium version. But Astra, Generate Press, Hello Elementor, and the Nev theme, you can use them all for free. You can use Elementor for free. Um, and then they have those premium versions for extra support, extra options, extra designs. These are the themes that I trust most for designing your WordPress website for your podcast. Loads of options, great support. That's it. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. We'll see you in the next video.